the naval station Rota in the south of Spain is the new home for the USS Kearney, the fourth US destroyer to be stationed in Europe. The naval group makes an important contribution to NATO missile defence in Europe, but will also perform a variety of other tasks including security operations, search and rescue, multinational training and exercises and NATO operations and deployments. The USS Kearney joins the Ross, the Donald Cook and the USS Porter as part of the United States' ballistic missile defense commitment to Europe. They will primarily perform ballistic missile defense linked with our stations in Devaselu, Romania and soon to be stationed in Romania. In addition, they'll be able to do exercises in air defense, anti-submarine warfare and other missions like humanitarian missions with our NATO allies and partners across the region. After a long voyage, USS Kearney's 340 sailors were welcomed by Spanish and US naval authorities, along with families which await them in what will be their new home in Europe. This collaboration between allied countries goes further than just military cooperation and generates other mutual benefits. So the arrival of the destroyers here, the four destroyers here at Rhoda, uh, make an enormous impact on the local economy here. Uh, Rhoda and uh, Marone, where the two bases where U.S. forces are tenants on, uh, on Spanish soil, uh, produce some 3,500 permanent full-time positions in Spain. So some 3,500 Spaniards uh, have positions as a result of, of, these, uh, of the troops being here in Spain. An important part for the United States is that these four ships here are equivalent to 12 ships in the United States that would deploy, operate, go home, train, deploy again. I would need 12 to make up for these four. So their presence gives, is a force multiplier for us because they're here. When asked if this deployment in Europe is prompted by the Russian crisis, the answer is a clear no. The plans for ballistic missile defense in Europe, the positioning of the ships and, and all the investments were made before Crimea, before this period of increased tensions with Russia. They are focused on a missile defense threat from the south. They are not targeted at Russia, and they in no way affect uh, the Russian nation's strategic deterrence that they deploy. The four destroyers will mostly patrol the Mediterranean, the Atlantic, and the Black Sea. I think these four ships are multi-mission ships, and therefore they can address a full range of security challenges. They can perform humanitarian assistance. They can project power ashore uh, with their missiles or their guns, as you can see. And they can provide a defensive umbrella of ballistic missile defense for Europe. 